So, ready, Vanessa? So, what I'd like to do is I want to make sure I can go through these problems for the people that don't think it's easy and understand. Um, so, what we're going to do is we need to solve a two-step equation and then graph. Remember, guys, when we're solving two-step inequalities, we want to make sure we transfer it to an equation. So, this is how it So, I'm going to write negative 40 is equal to 5 plus 5x. So, now, what we're going to do is solve it just like any other equation. Remember, we want to look at our variable and say, what's happening to my variable? Well, I have a 5 and I have another 5. This 5, what is it doing? It's either adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing. So therefore, Arthur raises his hand and says what? It's being added. It's being added. And why do you know it's being added? Well, it's being added not because of this plus sign, but it's being added because that 5 is a positive. So therefore, to undo addition of this 5, I need to subtract 5 on both sides. So negative 40 minus 5 is a negative 45 equals 5x. Now, the next thing that's a big confusion, see, people say, oh, well, this 5 is being added because it's a, a plus in front. All right? But this 5, it's only when you have the plus between your number and the x. So this 5 is actually being multiplied. So to undo addition of the 5, what I need to do is, I'm sorry, to undo multiplication of the 5, I need to divide by 5. Jenna, could you please put that away, please? I think that sitting there is not a good idea for you. So therefore, I have a negative 45 divided by 5. Negative 45 divided by 5 is a negative 9 equals x. Now what I do is I put my inequality sign back in. All right? And then I need to think again to myself. Remember, whenever you multiply or divide by a negative number, you're going to flip the sign. So did I ever multiply or divide by a negative number? No, my number was positive, right? So I'm good. So you're going to put in the same sign. Then to graph it, I'm going to kind of go through a, um, the quicker method now. Because we've already done enough times working with this. So I'm going to say negative 9 is my main point. I'll make a nice big dot. I'll say this would be like um, negative 10, and this would be negative 8. OK? And you know, obviously they go left and right. So therefore, I look at this and I say, all right, let's pick my point negative 10. Um, actually, you know what? Let's, OK, yeah, let's plug it in there. So if I say negative 10 is less than, or negative 9 is less than negative 10, make sure you plug your value in for x. So I want to test number 10. So is negative 9 less than not negative 10? No, that's false. And now look at this. Is negative 8? less than 10. And you can say, yes, that is true. <coughs> OK? Wait, wouldn't it be negative 10? Really positive. That's negative 10. Ah, shoot, I wrote it the wrong way, though. Negative 10, sorry, negative 9 is less than negative 8. Sorry, I wrote it wrong. You're right. So I have negative 9 is less than negative 10. That's false. Is negative 9 less than negative 8? And you say, yes, that's true. So remember, we graph towards where it's true. Now, you guys could test, is negative 9 less than negative 9? But one thing you guys can remember is it, is it less than or greater than is always going to be false, meaning it's always going to be an open dot. So we'll leave it like that. OK? So I don't have to get on my crutches. Would you mind turning off the video as I wave goodbye? <laughs>